Like, excuse me? <laughs> okay, well, can you tell us your name and the school? Ty Morgan Thaler, Southeast Missouri State. Tell us about taking over the Red Hawks program. What has it been like since you were hired? You know, it's a uh, you know, really exciting time for me to uh, take the position over um, end of April. Um, it's, been a, it's been a goal of mine, of course, to be a head women's basketball coach at the Division I level. Um, you know, of course, every day there's, there's are challenges. And, uh, but I, I feel like I'm really prepared for this opportunity because I've been at all levels. I, I've been assistant coach at Division II. I've been at uh, mid-major level. I've been at the BCS level as an assistant. So, you know, it's, uh, it's really exciting, and uh, I'm really looking forward to some great things ahead. Give us some general thoughts on the upcoming season. Uh, you know, we return 11 out of 13 players are, are back, so um, I'm excited about that. And so, uh, you know, they're a, a team that's uh, it's hungry, they're, they're eager, they're really w willing to, to learn. And uh, as a head coach, it's exciting to, to be able to put a new system in. And, uh, you know, they're buying into what we're trying to do. And I'm excited. Uh, you know, we have a very demanding non-conference schedule, but I think that's going to prepare us for the um, when we get into the Ohio Valley um, schedule there into December. So we're excited about it. What are your general impressions about the OBC? You know, I, you know, this is it's kind of a that's also something I'm learning right now. It's uh, it's new, um, but uh, I am familiar with some of the teams. Um, the first thing that really comes to mind, just you know, even last night with my first head coaching meeting, is just how everyone's willingness to to help and uh, you know the, the friendliness and uh, you know I think we're all on the same page. And of course, we want the Ohio Valley to be a, a strong, strong league. And so you know, it is nice. I think we're really um, we're back we're, we're backing each other, and we want us to you know want each other program to be successful non-conference and. And I like that. I think we, uh, we have a common goal, and, and that's to be successful. What do you like most about your team this year? You know, I really like them. Uh, my team is, you know, special off the court, and that's, you know, that's what I really like. Their, their willingness to um, be together and uh, the unity that we're bringing and, uh, you know, just the friendships that they're bonding and, and you know, the development I'm seeing. And, uh, and, I, and I just really appreciate what they've done and, you know, to, let, to allow, you know, me to, to teach them and, and to really to start a new system, offense and defense. That's not always easy for uh, a group that we have a lot of juniors, and uh, they're not really used to change. And, and I really appreciate that, and I respect that from them. What is the biggest challenge for your team this year? Biggest challenge really is to, to change the, the mindset. Um, you know, quite honestly, is just, uh, you know, we haven't been real successful in the past two, three years. And uh, to change that attitude uh, to be successful, and, and they are winners, and, and, and not to be scared to fail. And uh, that's something that we've been talking about on a daily basis. And, and uh, that's, that's my biggest challenge, is to really to have them believe in them and to believe that they can do it. And, uh, you know, and that's, that's encouraging for me because I truly believe that I'm a builder and I believe this is the right place for me. And, and I do believe we have quality girls that are willing to, do the, to take that next step. So that, that's an everyday challenge. This year, OVC women's teams will play on Monday nights. Tell us about the opportunity for women to have games on Monday nights by themselves. You know, I think that's a great opportunity. I'm excited the league has decided to do that, and I'm glad we're taking small steps. I'm so glad we had the doubleheader on Saturday, and I'm really glad that you know, we have the individual game on Monday. The young ladies in our league deserve that, and I'm excited because it gives them a night to really shine. Um, it's their stage. It's their spotlight, um, and I'm really helping all the communities in our league come out and support us, and, uh, and I, which I think they will. This is a, this is a basketball uh, conference. Um, I really think they're, you know, they'll come out and, and support these young ladies. What can we expect from your team on the court as far as style of play? You know, style, we're, we're, we're going to demand uh, toughness. Um, we're going to be disciplined. Um, you know, one thing that we will, I mean, every time we're going to hang our head on the defensive end, that's something that we're going to take pride in. And, uh, you know, we're going to give it all. Whoever's on the court, the five young ladies out there are going to really play hard, and they're going to give their all, and they're going to walk off the court. And, and you know, the community's going to know what to expect when we step on the court. You went to S. IUE, what is it like being in a league playing against your alma mater? It's, it's different. Uh, you know what, though, it's really exciting, too, to, uh, to talk to Dr. Brad Hewitt last night, the athletic director at uh, SIU, and just to, to talk about the old days. And, and I'm really excited about going back to see their facilities and to see their campus. And, and I have a lot of friends still back there in the community. So, you know, it's really neat. I, I have a lot of uh, respect for SIU Edwardsville, and uh, I'm really glad they're in the Ohio Valley.
Tell us about your non-conference schedule. Non-conference, like I mentioned earlier, it's really demanding. We're uh, exciting too, though. We're, we're playing uh, St. Louis University at their place, which I think is really neat for the St. Louis gals that we have on our team. Um, we're open up at North Carolina State, which uh, it's always neat to play an ACC opponent. Um, that's something that's going to challenge us as well. Uh, we have a great home game against Ole Miss, an SEC program, so that's going to be fun for our players and also for our community. So those games right there are going to really challenge us, um, and they're going to help develop our team um, toughness and then get us ready for the league play. Okay, thank you.